What's up everybody? Hope everybody's day is going well. Today we've got a ton of snow that started pouring down. Yesterday it was, you know, lightly coming down, not really a big problem. Today it's major snowing and it's gonna keep snowing for like the next six days or seven days or, you know, the foreseeable future. And it's supposed to be around 15 degrees or be around 15, 20 degrees every single day. That's Fahrenheit for anybody wondering. Eh, yeah. I'm gonna get through it, it's okay. I was born and raised up here in Montana, so, you know, I can deal with it, I guess. Today, we're going to get into the week seven drop of the fall winter collection, dropped right on my birthday. When this drop happened, I actually went after the long sleeve box logo, added it to cart, paid for it, processing, processing, bam, internet error. Come on, Supreme. The Supreme app gave me an internet error as it was processing my payment, said I had to retry connection or something. That's also one terrible thing about living up here in Montana is the internet's not so good. But then again, I don't know if anybody else had that error as well, maybe it's just a common thing. They did drop another tee that I was excited for. They dropped ribbed beanies, but I already have the ribbed beanie from last year. It's basically the same exact beanie. Maybe they had some additional colors. I would have got black anyways. But it's 100% cotton. It's a nice beanie. I've got a review video unpackaging this beanie. I've worn it a bunch. It's, it's a really nice cozy. It's nice and thin. It's not super thick or anything. It has some nice stretch to it and isn't real tight or anything. It's real loose. But yeah, it's wide ribbed beanie. And then uh, also so this shirt. So make sure you subscribe, hit the like button. I've got a bunch more content that's gonna keep coming for you guys so we can all be aware of what's authentic, what's not, and uh, what we should be picking up. Today's stickers, we got our pills because everybody's just obsessed with taking pills, especially in the United States. Don't worry about preventing disease, just do whatever you want and then take pills afterwards. I mean, <laughs> it's pretty terrible, but I got this other one, Supreme Clientele. It's got a little bit of a cut mark on it, sadly. It's a little bit cut up. I did get this Supreme box logo with the little vote thing on there. Make sure you do that. We don't got much time. And then I did get a Smurfs box logo sticker in this one. So that is cool that Supreme hooked me up with four stickers today. And then the T. Yes, I grabbed the Sun Blazing because Supreme is so fire. I grabbed it in a medium. The shirt I'm wearing now is a size medium as well. I'm six foot one, 140 pounds. So we'll check how the fit is on this one. Oh, where is that label? Oh, there it is. There's our label there for the sun tea. And then we got all of our warning information on the back of this thing. Now, I also wanted the sweater and one other item. I can't remember what was all dropping, but I added a few things to my cart and then I paid with PayPal and then it said payment error. And then I went in to try and pay for it again, but I said I already purchased those items. So it wouldn't let me get the sweater either. So this shirt was kind of like a third option, but it's still pretty dope. I still like it and I'll probably still wear it. So we do have a tag on the back of the neck. Here's our tag. You can be aware of what Authentic Supreme looks like. Another view the back of it there and then there is no tag on the inside of this tee since it's just a tube structure one of their lower price tees running in at only 38 us dollars and then ten dollars shipping and then whatever taxes you have for your state but yeah this is a size medium from supreme a little bit oversized for a regular size medium gives you some extra width maybe a tiny bit of extra length most notably some extra room up in the shoulder area and just overall width on it should basically fit exactly like this lizard tee so Let's go ahead, throw it on, and we'll uh, we'll see how it looks. And yeah, definitely fits just like that lizard tee does. Just nice and a little bit oversized for a medium. I have worn a bunch of different medium shirts. They don't always fit me. I've got kind of wide shoulders of 40 measurement for suits or whatever, if anybody knows what that means. But yeah, sometimes I just can't rock a medium, although Supreme, no problem. Totally fits nice. It fits similar to Palace, if anybody has any Palace skateboards, apparel. Yeah, it just has that standard, kind of nice, just comfy feel. And you got that crazy graphic. What do you guys think? You guys like that graphic? I mean, there are some hints of green in this graphic. I didn't even know that that was in there. It's got yellow, red, and green kind of all meshing to, to make this graphic and give you all those colors there, but yeah pretty dope. I definitely dig it and that's why I grabbed it and apparently a bunch of other people liked it too because this is one of the only tees that ended up selling out this uh, week seven. They had a bunch of other tees that were just sitting for the whole week. I don't know they might still be on the website now. I mean depending on when you're watching. Let me check. Yeah the pill tee still has some available and then the scratch tee. Oh yeah there's still 
a bunch available of the scratch tea. And then the ultra fresh tea, we still got a bunch available of that one as well. So yeah, those were all from week seven, the same time this tea dropped, but this one sold out. Yeah, they didn't have any canceled orders or anything like that. Lately, it seems like with Supreme, with their t-shirts, they have been releasing enough so that everybody can kind of get the shirts they want. But then some of these designs, like that pill tea, a lot of people don't understand the thought process behind it. They don't know what they're buying. And honestly, the whole culture is about rarity and having things that are more rare. So if it feels like something's just sitting on the shelf, then that will actually deter people from actually buying it. They want to buy something they can't get. They want what they what they can't have. And I mean, that's just humans in general. Uh, but anyways, I am going to share some positivity with you all from the Bible app on my phone. I want to share 1 Thessalonians 1, 9 through 10. I read a lot of different books. Bible is one of them. I was basically raised studying the Bible like crazy. And I've recently realized some indoctrination that I was put into that was not correct thinking and whatnot. But anyways, this verse is one of those verses that uh, meant something else to me before and now means something different to me in today's age. For they themselves report concerning us the kinds of reception we have among you and how you turn to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven whom he raised from the dead Jesus who delivers us from the wrath to come I specifically want to talk about the wrath to come what is that I believe personally that that wrath is not a wrath of Jesus it's not a wrath of God the Father all this wrath of God and things like that are just human made to fear mongrel people into obeying certain governmental laws and stuff in the past and it's been indoctrinated and people have decided to latch onto it that this wrath of God is coming to destroy all the people that don't follow the way of Jesus or the way of God. But no, that's not what Jesus taught at all. Jesus was not about that. Jesus actually had a verse where he said if someone hits you on the one cheek, turn face them. Let them hit the other cheek as well. He says, love your enemies. Do good to those who persecute you. Jesus said, love your neighbor as yourself. And when the crowd asked who your neighbor is, Jesus answered and said that your neighbor is that person that is not the same skin color as you, that is marginalized in your community, that's not the same race, not the same nationality. It's that person that has nothing in common with you that you go out and are supposed to love and assist and help. I honestly would say that the wrath to come is not any spiritual wrath. It's a mental wrath that we have on ourselves with the human condition, just pushing ourselves down or just depressing our own thought, our own person of who we are. And it's also wrath that we put on other people or that other people put onto us, just trying to force us to be the same way they are or to have the same thinking. And that's, uh, that's detrimental because you can't change somebody else's thinking. You have to be very aggressive about it. And then once you quit forcing that type of thinking onto that person, a lot of times they'll retract and move away from it. That's not always the case. Sometimes trauma does stick because trauma is really hard to fully understand and to fully recover from, honestly. But anyways, I really just want to let everybody know that uh, God does not have wrath that he's going to be pouring out on people. What we need to be watching out for is that we're not putting wrath our own human wrath onto other people. We need to be showing kindness, showing acceptance, showing that love that can only come from truly understanding how valuable and special each individual human being is on this earth. Every single human is valuable. So anyways, uh, I hope this message encouraged everybody. And uh, yeah, I will see you when I can. I'll be working like crazy, you know, delivering mail in this tough weather. It's going to be a lot of long hours, so I'll try and keep you guys up to date with what I've been adding to my collection. And uh, yeah, peace out. Yeah.